Welcome back to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. This is Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, WDBO Radio. Ask the experts. You can reach me if you have any questions for the Loner Ranger at 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. You know, it's been such a joy being able to help so many folks out there achieve home ownership or save money when it comes to refinancing. Is refinancing really the opportunity for you right now? Only if you're looking at debt consolidation or you have an adjustable rate or you have a balloon note that's due, maybe you're in a divorce situation, then it's right. If you're just trying to get rid of PMI, I'd probably hold off on that. Now, you're not going to get a lot of lenders who are going to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you the truth because you always get the truth here. 407-706-3313 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. Here's a couple of reasons you could consider refinancing. And, and here's the thing. Why do you refinance when rates are higher? Only if you can truly save money. So I took a client the other day. They had like a 4.5% interest rate. And they were going to refinance and it was going to be 5 and three quarter percent interest rate. So why would you do that? Well, I'll put this in perspective. They had about a $1,500 a month payment on their house. But they also had another almost $2,000 a month in other debts. I refinanced their house. Their payment went from $1,500 to $1,700. So $200 more a month. That paid off $1,500 a month. So that was a $1,300 a month gain. $1,300 a month gain. Now, If they applied that $1,300 to their mortgage, then their mortgage was paid off in like nine years and they had no other debt. That's how you do it. There's a reason to do it. One of the only reasons I would consider doing it, but if that's what you're looking for and you're looking for that advice, that's what I give you. Just getting rid of PMI, probably not so much. Okay, Uh, You're not going to lower your interest rate if you got an interest rate sometime in this century. So interest rates are higher than that. We all know that. So they're in the fives. Some are in the fours. Okay, you got great credit. You can still be in the fours. And some of them, if your credit may be somewhat not quite so polished, you might be even be in the sixes. Investors are in the sixes. Is it too late to buy as an investor? Well, I'm going to tell you what. If it's too late, I made a huge mistake because I just bought two more houses. And if I'm buying them, then you should buy them. Why? Because I've got the information I trust the numbers, and I'm going to tell you, don't get freaked out by the news. The news is there to scare you. It makes you uneasy, and that's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, because the poor are afraid to jump in, because they listen to the news. I mean, come on. They, you listen to the new, it's like you, if you're caught up and you have credit karma or one of those free credit agencies, then you listen to what you're told to do, but it's generally false information. Why would something be free? Because it's not free. You are a target. Your information is being sold when you sign up for things like that. They're data mining and they're selling your data. And then you wonder why your credit gets pulled 15,000 times and your scores drop. Don't get caught up in that stuff. It's garbage. You need a credit report. You want to know what your credit is. You can get it for free. The government makes it It's mandatory that you get one annual credit report for free. Go to annualcreditreport.com. It'll tell you what your credit looks like. And if you need help improving your credit, you just come to the loan arranger, and I'll guide you in the right direction for credit enhancement. If you're considering buying a home, do it. Don't be afraid to do it. Do it. Are interest rates going to be higher than they were? Yes. Are they going to be higher tomorrow? Yes. Are housing prices at an all-time high? Yes. Why? Because they're always at an all-time high. I mean, that's not something that's new. The only time that you, in your lifetime, unless you're somewhere in your 70s, have seen a drop in real estate is from 2007 to about 2010, 2011. So there was a short period of time where real estate had gone down, and then it went up. Now, can you imagine if you bought a home in 2010, or 2009, how much money you would make? Can you imagine buying 10 homes? You'd be a multimillionaire. You'd be a multimillionaire. Let's just put it that way. I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Ranger Radio Show, 407-706-3313, or webringyouhome.com. <laughs> 